Welcome to another training session on the TIA portal. In today's session, we will learn how we can generate the analog output in the S7 1200 PLC using TIA portal software. Before starting, I will request you guys to please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications for the upcoming video tutorials. First of all, we will open the device configuration menu page and open the hardware catalog. From here, we will insert an analog output onto the PLC rack. If we open the properties of this analog output card and scroll down, you can find the address of the channel 0, which is QW96. And this output channel is a channel 0 and it can generate 0 to 10 volts output. Next, we will add a new block and we will add an organization block one, which is OB1. And we will add a block on it and we will search for the norm X instruction. And we will select the norm X instruction and we will select the int data type for the input and the real data type for the output. Put the zero in the minimum, in maximum, we will put the hundred and in the value we will write memory word 100 which is our input word the memory word 100 will be used to generate the analog output the values of the memory word 100 will be taken between 0 to 100 and normalized between 0.0, .0 to 1.0 and the result will be saved in the out and we will write md40 in the out and MD40 will be our normalized value. Next in the network number two, we will add the scale X instruction. We will select the real data type for the input and integer data type for the output. Next in the minimum, we will insert zero. In the value input, we will insert the same normalized value, which is MD40. And in the max, we will insert 27648. In the output, we will enter the same output word QW96 for the analog channel 0. Now the scale X function will take the normalized value and scale this value from 0 to 27648 and throw out the result onto the QW96 data register for the output channel 0. And our output channel 0 will generate the 0 to 10 volt corresponding to the value of the QW96 data register. Next, we will download this ladder logic into the PLC simulator. Now we can change the display format of the QW96 data register as decimal. Next, if we modify the memory word 100 and if we enter the value 10 and press OK button, you can see that we have entered the 10 in the memory word 100. The normalized value is 0.1 and it is being scaled between 0 to 27648 and the result is 2765. And this value 2765 is saved into our output data register and the channel 0 will generate the analog output corresponding to this value in the QW96 data register. Next, again, if we modify the memory word 100 and we will modify this time to the 50 and press the OK button. As you can see that now this time the normalized value is 0.5 and the result 13824 is saved into the output QW96 data register and the channel 0 will generate the analog output corresponding to this value in the QW96 data register. Next, if we modify the memory word 100 and this time we will enter 100. And you can see that now the normalized value is 1 and the full max value which is 27648 is written into the QW96 data register and this time or output analog channel which generate 10 volts. So this is how you can make a program to generate analog output 
using S7 1200 PLC and Tia Portal software. So that's the end of the today's session. Do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.